Well, good morning and happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day uh, to all of you and especially to moms out there. Happy Mother's Day to my mom, who I think is watching this, and my mother-in-law and my wife. <laughs> and to all of you uh, in this church and all who are, who are watching, uh, who are mothers, we are grateful for you. We're grateful for your service and your work, which is so essential, not only in the life of the church, but in the flourishing of humanity. Uh, God has given you very important work to do, and you uh, do it in ways that earn our uh, eternal love. <laughs> we, love our, we love our moms very much. And you also are an example to us in the church of, uh, of love and love that's expressed in service and devotion to others. So the Apostle Paul in 1 Thessalonians 1 He's writing to the church at Thessalonica, and he needs an example. He wants to try to give them an image of how much uh, he and the other church leaders uh, who have planted the church there in Thessalonica, how much they love and care for and served that church out of that love. He wants an image of love and sacrificial service. And so what does he write? Uh, he writes this, We were like nursing mothers among you. In other words, in searching for an image to express, how great their love was and how uh, devoted their service was. The image that comes to mind is of a mother with a nursing child. Uh, and indeed, uh, in this way and in others, mothers not only from the earliest days but all the way through the lifespan, uh, you are an example to us in the church uh, of the kind of love uh, in expressing itself in sacrificial service. Uh, that our Lord calls us to in many different ways. And we are deeply grateful for you and uh, want to encourage you uh, that your work matters so much. Uh, and we want to pray for you and our, we'll be praying for you. I am praying for you uh, today, moms. Uh, we're, we're also aware, I'm also aware every time we do this, just like anything, uh, when you gather together the life of the church, uh, there are those who uh, we are grateful for. Uh, they're, they're <clears throat> I'm also aware uh, anytime we do something like this in the church that uh, there are also those for whom any day like this is also a difficult day. Those who've lost mothers or uh, who have difficult relationships, strained relationships with their mothers, uh, those who desire to have children and were not able to do so. And so to, uh, and also, you know, in this year, we're not here uh, where we normally get to greet one another and where mothers bring their kids for Sunday worship before going to Sunday lunch. Uh, today, you may be uh, isolated from your mother in some way. Or mothers, you may be isolated from some of your kids or grandkids. Uh, and so even while we celebrate moms and are so grateful for you, we also are aware uh, that this is a difficult day for many. I just want to say to that as well, uh, we're praying for you. Um, we're praying for those for whom this is a difficult day, especially today, uh, that the Lord would comfort and strengthen you. So, happy Mother's Day. Uh, we love you. We're caring. We, we're praying for you. <laughs> uh, and uh, I hope this is a great day for you wherever you are.